Hi, my name is Samit Bose. I'm a power systems engineer working in GE Global Research for the last 14 years. Uh, we have been doing a lot of research in this lab, which is the power systems lab on renewable energy like wind and solar integration with the grid, as well as energy storage uh, integration with the grid as well. So what you see here is, for example, some of the control platforms that we use for controlling these renewable assets, like wind, solar storage, as I said. We will use some of these control platforms that you see here, as well as some of the other platforms that you see on this side of the, of the lab to provide grid efficiency and grid reliability for microgrids. Talking of microgrids, uh, we have recently won a, uh, a $1.5 million uh, DOE project Department of Energy funded project for uh, providing its resiliency and efficiency for a microgrid that will be built around Potsdam in New York. Potsdam is right in the, in the St. Lawrence County, right near the Canadian border, and they have seen a lot of uh, ice storms and, and other disruptions in their grid, which has accounted for a lot of uh, downtime in terms of their power system. So we will use some controllers that you see here right now. For example, this one is a microgrid controller that provides efficiency to the system, that kind of optimizes the system for the uh, best performance, you may say. And then there are other types of control boxes or servers that you see in this kind of a rack. So in together, a control system that you see like this, we call it a, an enhanced microgrid control system, which when coupled with a nice human machine interface like this, which, can, which an operator can operate, can provide this resiliency and efficiency functions for the grid. So this is a, a, a user interface that you see, which is typically developed uh, for another project, another microgrid project funded by Department of Defense. But we will use similar techniques along with those control, control platforms to provide set points to the different distributed generations that Potsdam has. For example, Potsdam has some combined heat and power. They will have some PV and energy storage. They already have some hydro assets. So we will command all these distributed generation assets during the periods of natural disasters so that they can be used for maximum uh, reliability during that time, providing power to their critical load. So this is an exciting project for all of us. As we have all seen recently, the, the natural disasters are, are, are creating a lot of issues in the power system. Uh, I remember there was a, there was a big uh, superstorm Sandy right here, uh, three, three hours from here. Uh, about two years back, which has created a lot of uh, disruptions and a lot of uh, uh, problems to the people as well as to the power grid uh, infrastructure. So I'm very excited to, to, to work on a technology like this, which will pr eventually you know, prevent, such, prevent the impact of these disasters to the power grid, and hopefully uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue the same standard of living that was there before. So I'm pretty excited for this microgrid technology, and I thank the Department of Energy for giving us the opportunity to do